All right, welcome to the Bowling Road with Jimmy Bridges. Happy Monday! It's time to go bowling. Yeah, oh, mm. flush in the pocket, ten in the pit, rip the rack. <laughs> we won our baseball game. We're now three and three. We crawled back from one and three to five hundred. We won. We beat the Stars ten to six. Tyro leads the team, hitting five sixty two. That boy, good. Ryan. Our surprise leadoff hitter, who doesn't want to be the leadoff hitter, but I'm gonna make him do it anyway. He's in 500. And the low me is in third with, at 474. I went one for three with RBI. We all played pretty good. Uh, you know, we had a few issues, but uh, Andy pitched another great game. He was getting tired though, so bruh, if you need a break this week, let me know, okay? Anyway, we're about to go over to Matador to uh, find something over there. You know, they crazy. Hopefully, hopefully the approaches aren't sticky so we can at least throw the ball good. So, be back in a moment. Welcome to Monday Night Bowling. This league is pretty packed now, look. Calvin Sutton, the baseball player mechanic that bowls. Wendy, I just got a new ball drill that won't do it the right way and won't listen Tell me. Damn it. <laughs> and Verda, the superstar. Da -da 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 -da. Got a list of credits in acting that is unprecedented. Who are you? And Jimmy the Magnificent. <laughs> Got credits too, up and down. Baseball, bowling, football player.
So I'm up early. We are headed down to Harbor City for a baseball game at nine o'clock. So we gotta leave at 7.30. Make sure we get there an hour early so we can warm up. Um, it's a little chillier this morning for California. You know, it's gonna be like in the 50s or something like that, so. <sighs> so, so. I like the games that are in the valley. You know, close. But we got a couple that are far this year. Every year we have a couple that are down the freeway. So, gotta go do it. Oh, and check this out. I, we were cleaning up our mom's stuff over there in the side yard. And uh, we found some pictures, <laughs> some young pictures. Check me out bowling when I was like a little kid. And <laughs> look how much taller those other guys are than me in this picture. Check out me, Calvin, and Verda back in the day. We were all kind of a lot heavier. <laughs> it's funny, though, to look at it. There's a lot of bowling to report. <laughs> okay. So Monday night bowling. I shot 217. I got a cheat sheet. So 217, 234, and a 158 the last game. For a 609, I used the phase three with the pin down. I had a really good look the first couple games, but then it kind of just disappeared. I couldn't carry, because that's what happens there in Matador. It's like you can't carry, then you miss it, one or two of those spares. You look up and you shot 158. That's what happened, so. On to Wednesday night bowling. I started off with a 194. I missed a couple of easy makeable spares that game. Came back and shot a 256. Still missed a single pin spare. Missed a seven pin, I think. I think I'm trying to throw it too hard sometimes. Then I shot 195 the last game for 645, but I was the only one on that pair that shot 600. Everybody else was under that, so I don't know what happened. I used a raggedy. Phase three, I actually subbed on Thursday for f my friend Frank Bustos, you know, from Colombia. <laughs> I shot uh, 189, 205, 225 for 619 using the raggedy phase three. And the carry was terrible. I, just, I don't understand what's going on there. I mean, you move all over the place and you still can, can, can't carry. Especially that first game, it was terrible. I don't know what they can do about that. Like if you got it, if you make a good enough shot to hit the pocket, you should carry. So moving on to this Saturday PBA Challenge League, there was uh we bowled six games for sweepers. I shot 182 the first game. I don't even remember what pattern that was on. Then I shot 162 on the US open flat pattern. Yeah, it was brutal. Your ball was not hooked. I had to point it up the pocket. I used my phase three with the pin up. It's sanded. I probably would sand it a little more though for stuff like that. Then I got a uh, shot 181 on the red square, uh, Kegel, like a Kegel sport pattern. Then I shot 166 on the PBA bear. And I just missed a couple spares that game and I opened in the 10th frame. So then I shot 180 and 177. Oddly enough, ended up finishing six in the money. So I made some bucks. So. Didn't even shoot a 200 game. 
Imagine if I'd have made my spares and but everybody was kind of close. The guys that all cash were kind of close. Uh, Justin finished first. I forgot how to pronounce his last name, but JP, I call him. You good though, man. He uh, he finished first. He won the the league. He won the league and he made the most money on Saturday. Then uh, in second, Eaglis, I think his name is brother. I can't pronounce his name. Brother from L.A. Third was Ed, Mr. Ed Washington. He bowled very good. He had a chance to. He was in second going into the last couple games, but you know on these stuff, we were actually bowling a different pattern every game. So that's what made it tough. You had to adjust and move and quick think quick. Fourth was. I don't know who finished fourth, but anyway, I fin ended up finishing sixth. I don't know who finished fourth and fifth, I forget. But I finished sixth, and Jerome Robinson finished seventh. Yeah, I think Ed Washington finished fifth, so I don't know who finished third and fourth. Anyway, it was a great league. It was a fun league. I love that kind of league, man. Just grinding. Nasty. You got to change. You got to think. You're sweating. Literally. And I, hopefully they do it again, and I'll be back for that, because that was freaking... An awesome season. Hi, right, nephew. I got right. you on tape. Mm, nice shot, nephew. Anyway, on to baseball. Over and out.